Happy New Year 2022. How's it looking? All right, well, right away from here, we can see there's algae still visible in the middle, but not off to the sides where we put both the peroxide and the wet and forget. Now, let's see if I can pick this up on video. There are, well, let's see, there is still a little algae on the wet and forget side. That's that streak little right there. You don't see the same on the peroxide side. Now, the lichen, the little shotgun bits of light lichen in the middle of the roof where it's untreated, those bits of lichen are still green, like a pale green. But off to the sides where both the wet and forget and the hydrogen peroxide has been applied, those bits of lichen are definitely white, as in they're dead. So <clears throat> let's see how this stuff rinses off in the coming months with uh, additional rain and weather. All right, here we are again. It is March 21st of 2022. And I just got back from work. <clears throat> I happened to glance up at the shed roof. Check out what I see. You can see it. Uh, the middle is darker than the sides. Remember the middle was untreated. And on the right hand side where the wet and forget was applied, I see the dead bits of lichen that are kind of bright white and a little bit of uh, algae still upon the shingle. But it looks like the dead lichen is still hanging on. Over on the left side where the peroxide was applied, it appears to me that the lichen has fallen off. Eh, for the most part, there's a little maybe. But I find that very interesting. I thought maybe you would too. So anyway, this is the type of thing that I do kind of endlessly, learning more and more and more about how to keep uh, roofs clean. So that's all for now. Hope it was helpful.